It is the measure of any society, how it treats its most vulnerable. You might think dingy institutions, people locked away in inhumane conditions from birth until death, would be a relic of the past. But our Ann Curry discovered it is all too real in the world in which we live. And Ann is bringing us some exclusive images this morning. Ann. That's right, Meredith. In fact, these pictures are hard to watch, but very important to see. Our NBC News team got unprecedented access to mental institutions in Serbia where people, including children with conditions like cerebral palsy and Down syndrome, are forced to live their entire lives. One human rights organization calls it inhumane and torture. Belgrade today is a city of colorful markets, thriving plazas, and renewed hope. Yet the remnants of war are still evident. And beyond the historic city, there is another remnant of Serbia's past that has remained unchanged and unseen for decades. It is what some call the country's dark secret. It's mental institutions. Thousands of adults and children are systematically warehoused in decaying buildings, languishing in the same stark rooms and metal cribs day after day. Heavy medication is common. Therapy is rare. People are just prisoners in these cribs and these beds. We found people being tied up, not for 10 minutes, but hours. A report just released by Washington-based Mental Disability Rights International calls the conditions beyond cruel and inhuman. It's torture. Torture? Torture. You're saying what is happening in the institutions for the disabled in Serbia amounts to torture? Yes. Yes. In this former communist country where disabilities have long caused shame, Doctors commonly advise parents to put mentally disabled newborns in remote, overcrowded government institutions. For most, it is a life sentence. So this is the room where the most severe cases are kept? NBC News gained unprecedented access to some of these institutions. What we found in some was deeply disturbing. Full-grown young men crammed into cribs. A shower room where groups of adults are hosed down stick-thin children left alone, some with bodies contorted and atrophied from years of neglect. This little boy was tied to his crib early one morning and was still tied up later that afternoon. Some boys and girls in these conditions simply stop growing. This is a 21-year-old boy who's never been let out. The crib. His body seems frozen. Katarina is nine. She has finger? Down syndrome. Oh, you don't want to let go of my finger, do you? The staff told us that tiny Jasmina is actually 15 years old. This is called growth retardation or, or, or failure to thrive. Explain that to me. The brain produces a hormone that allows you to grow, and the brain doesn't produce that hormone when you're under such con severe conditions of deprivation. A classic sign of child neglect is kids who don't grow. We showed some of our footage to Serbia's new social policy minister, Rashim Yaich. You see children left in beds, so long their legs are atrophying, and the children are tied down. Are these conditions, in your mind, humane? Uh, these conditions are far from humane, far from humane. So you agree that it is hurting the children, hurting these people with disabilities, to be in these institutions? Absolutely. Of course, of course. This is a situation that we inherited, that came into our hands, and we have to change it. But with a severe shortage of government money and trained staff, he acknowledges that change will come slowly. Years? Sadly, years, yes. In the meantime, the mentally disabled here know little of the world beyond the walls and bars of institutions, where days and lives pass unnoticed. Serbia is calling criticism of its institutions politically motivated propaganda, but there is no question that this publicity will pressure the government to make changes because it wants to become accepted as a member of the European Union, Meredith. And also, we're going to be doing more of this reporting on Dateline. And if people want to help, uh, they can go to our website for more information those, on how the, they can. Yeah, those images are so heartbreaking, so disturbing. Why would the government have even allowed you inside those institutions? When we flew to Serbia, we had not yet gotten their permission. But I think that uh, it was clear, speaking to the minister, 
here who had not visited the institution before we showed him the pictures that they didn't realize how bad it was. When you asked him what, what he, what's he going to do about it, what did he say? He said that they're going to create a commission. Actually, since the release of the report this week calling the conditions their torture, they've announced that they're going to create a commission to investigate the situation. So there is new hope, I think, because of this report that uh, some of what we saw might change. But it might take time unless there's help from the outside yeah, world. Keep the pressure on. All right. Ann Curry, thanks very much.